Alright guys, so welcome back to a new video. Um, I'm at work right now, so I'm actually trying to get out of here by noon. It's almost like 10 minutes away from noon, so just finished doing shots on this expedition. They're all blown, but in today's video, I'm actually going to be doing um, some work on the 240 that I just got recently. And as you can tell, um, I do have my other cars. Um, I have more things coming for those here in the following week. Just because I've been so busy with work and trying to do as much as I can. Well, what I'm going to be doing on the 240 is start sealing up windows, side panels, uh, the rear hatch, and then the um, front windshield. Um, I'm still waiting on that one, but I'm going to be cleaning everything off real good and start sealing them in place. And just to make sure the whole car itself is actually sealed. And I'm actually going to be swapping out the door panels because right now it has some gold ones um i have the original red ones so i'm gonna put everything back to red yeah so let me leave work here and then go pick up the doors of the unit and then from there i'm going to my uh friend's place and start doing all the work and then while we're there we're actually going to be cooking some uh what you call it some tomahawk steaks so that's something i told him we were going to do about two weeks ago so now i ended up buying them yesterday so other than that yeah let's stop talking and get to it guys so i'll see you there i'm actually arriving here at the unit as you can tell right here so i'm gonna be loading up the uh doors real quick because i'm trying to get out of here all right so we've got one door panel here and one over there you can tell i rearrange a lot of things but this car has been kind of doing a lot of stuff here which you're gonna see eventually later on Right now, let's grab these doors real quick and a few tools. So, I got my bag here with some short sockets, some three-eighths and some quarter inch, and my wrenches and a flathead and a hammer and a knife in here. So, that should be enough for what I'm going to be doing. Um, I'm going to go ahead and grab these door panels real quick. So, let me load them up and get going to um, back to my friend's house. So, these, the, um, one of them, uh, that one has a small den over there i should be able to fix as you can tell right there i'm gonna be able to fix that i just it'll save me a lot of time from uh painting these and all that so i can always uh do it later and the gold ones i don't want to go through the whole process and have a lot of uh paint in the way so it's all loaded up got the rear bumper in there as well because i'm gonna put that on and all this i'm gonna actually probably sitting down eventually when my brother helps me but um as you can tell i'm gonna take all this paint off as well so i brought some acid so I can, or degrees or whatever it is to remove this but uh yeah guys and this thing took off the tail lights i got some 97 tail lights this which are a lot nicer so yeah guys let's uh let's get things done out of the way and then i think i'm gonna take this as well because this is part of it so let me do that Bye bye, car. Stand. Boom, done. All right, let's get going, guys. Hey right, guys, so I'm here, but uh, work on the damn car because I have things to do. So it's pretty chilly out here. So um, let's go ahead and pull these out. Right. Yeah. <laughs> But here it is, as you can tell, there's a lot of paint here, a lot of spray paint, because me and my buddy were kind of messing around. We did that. This used to be nice and red, but now it's not. So I'm actually going to be taking that paint off as well today. Hopefully I have the time. And as you can tell, I'm going to do a little few things here and there just to get this back up and nice uh, to make sure it's all sealed up. So hopefully as soon as I get a windshield and all that stuff, I'll be putting that in. And same with um, the rear one. It's just sitting in place as of right now. But I am going to be putting one in place. So all this is going to be done. 
today possibly um i am gonna have to go pick up some adhesive here for this or the sealant for the windshield so i'm gonna do the side ones the rear hatch and we should be good but first things first we're gonna go ahead and start taking these doors off um i'm gonna see what happens but on the, the door jam i'm just gonna leave it blue because i don't want to deal with it right now but other than that uh let's go ahead and keep that situated and start doing these doors it's gonna be pretty simple since there ain't much in the way no more so we're gonna go ahead and start removing these 12 millimeters there up front on top and the bottom and we should be good and then also we're gonna disconnect that harness from inside and that should be it so that'll be quick and easy so <laughs> It's a bit heavy doing it with one person, but I'll be able to take care of that either way. So the thing is, the tricky part will be mounting them back in place. So don't know how that's gonna happen, but either way. But uh, yeah, other than that, I mean, I'm gonna get this painted here in a month, hopefully. So I have something to plan out. I'll order some paint, get my brother to do all the body work on it, because you can tell a little few dents here and there. Like there's that little spot. I gotta do that and clean it out really good um where else the hood i'm gonna probably have to do this little dink uh dents here and there if not i get a different one but either way and there's this big one right here which i don't like much but i should be able to get that pulled out by my brother so i'm not sure what he's gonna think on that one so we'll take care of that either way and uh yeah so let's see how we do this and then i'm actually gonna look into that window i'm not sure why it's down like that I don't know if it's off the track or anything. If I had to swap parts over, I'll swap this whole window over to that one. But just to make sure, I don't know. I mean, this tracks, they look pretty good, decent shape. That's like a newer door for what it looks like compared to that one. That's an old one. So um, we'll take care of that. But first things first, let's mount that back in place and see what we do. But um, let me not get backtrack because i ended up starting to remove all the uh overspray and as you can tell quite a lot cleaner than it was but all this overspray was from painting the interior and this and that so let me not worry about that because then i'm gonna get backtracked then i won't even finish nothing so let's start with that finally got it in place guys um Still screwing the bolts in, but it's kind of a little nightmare just doing by itself. But either way, it's just in place. Got that other door in place. Sorry, I'm back and forth with things. And um, I kind of fixed a little dent that was right there. As you can tell, there's barely anything on there no more. So. I really want to get the body work done on this here as soon as possible. I'm not sure if my brother wants to do it because I'm getting really, I don't know, anxious about it. So, um, this, I'll do that last. I'll figure out the windows here in a bit. But let me go ahead and put the other one off. off. It'll be the same process. So, now that this is done, let's go ahead and skip to the other side. All right, guys. So, now, let's start on this side real quick. Oh, my God. It's so awkward. What up? back in place it's a little bit weird a little weird angle in there so they're playing took me about five minutes to do now i'm going to put this back in place this one's a little lighter since it doesn't have the window in there so um i'm gonna have to swap parts over from there to there 
same on the other one so uh yeah let's get these door panels back in place and see how things go but oh man that takes a lot longer than i thought it'd be but then over here as well i'm gonna clean this up I'm not sure right if i'm gonna do it now but who knows what happens all right guys so let's try to have this in the best spot as possible but guys as you can tell door panels in place on both sides finally i want to start doing this paint and stuff but i think i'm gonna start working on these windows make sure it's all good but as you can tell look at that perfect guys i know it doesn't look the best right now but trust me i have this mint how i want it to be so either way let's keep continuing with this car um i do gotta check a few things here and there like i said but yeah guys perfect Everything's nice and lined up there. Same over here. I did have to adjust this side because the door wasn't closing at all. So I had to lift up a little bit more, which that came out perfect. So now next thing to do here is possibly to check the window stuff, the tracks and all that stuff and put them in this door and then same on the other side. So let's skip to that one real quick. I don't want y'all to get bored or anything. I want to see you. I want y'all to see the outcome of the entire car. So. So yeah, let me, I might do that real quick because I want to seal this up. If not, I'll come, probably come tomorrow morning and do that real quick because I still have to go over there and buy some paint and primer so I can actually send this back down normally and have a really good seal, paint this up, and then reseal that. But let's focus on this. Let's not get distracted. So we'll see what that needs over here and just swap everything over from that door to this door so yeah guys it's coming together so i love it love it love it love it perfect as you can tell it's gonna be gold red once i take all that paint and then clean it up really good all right so as you can tell this one right here has a few missing things as well so this one's missing the window switch thing right there so you got to put that in place and then these connectors I think these are for the door panels and all that but i don't have nothing of that just yet uh, i'll probably have parts on the back and then i'm guessing this is for speakers I have this one up here that's for the windows so i'm guessing that's for the master switch and windows and all that shit. so i'm gonna unplug this swap it over here just do that first and then i'm gonna start doing the window regulators and make sure it's all good so so right now so i'm removing the actual windshield itself right here i have these two little stoppers i have this one and there's one right there that I just finished removing but you unscrew these that comes out and the window should come off i'm gonna take the window out first then swap everything from the tracks the regulator and the uh, motor itself to this door panel and get it out of the way because gotta do this real quick and then hopefully i can actually somehow power this up and uh, make it work so let's pull this out real quick little bolts here as you can tell it's like five or six of them and this is gonna pull right out just like that we'll make sure i keep it right where it's at because i haven't removed one of this in a while but there's your whole window regulator motor assembly there and now let's go okay so after a nightmare doing this they're a lot simpler than it, it is but since these screws were backed out they kind of had me having an issue of putting them in but i finally got those in place and this one is missing a seat track so i can't really put the window in place and then the other one as i can tell that one has the window all the way up and as you can tell it has a seat track in there as well so i'm gonna swap this one out and put that in here um it's gonna be a lot easier for me because i can just put the track itself and put it in there and then i'm gonna save these doors just in case but 
let's go ahead and do this side because it's about to get dark all right guys so as you can tell i finished doing this door sorry it kind of got dark out here so um got that all in place and i'm actually gonna probably order a hood some fenders possibly a, a bumper but i'm not sure maybe i'll just keep that one for now but um this hood there's a lot of dings and dents here and there so i, I don't know if it's worth fixing but either way i probably will do it and go from there but other than that i'm gonna call it a night i didn't get much footage of putting everything back together but it is straightforward so um next week possibly the next video or in the next two we're gonna start seeing more things getting done as a body work trying to get the thing running and going through the whole entire car from underneath to engine bay to all the wiring inside and make sure it's all nice and good so um other than that guys that should be it for now and see you soon